All right, this is called a two-step equation because there's more than one thing happening to that variable that you need to move to the other side. Um, the same as with one-step equations, though, I would recommend that you draw a line down where your um, equal sign is to signify the two sides of the equation. There's this side and there's this side. And then the same with the one-step equations, you're just looking at that variable and asking yourself what's happening that's keeping this variable from being by itself. So if I look at that n, it is smushed up against the 7, and I'm subtracting 4. So I'm multiplying by 7, and I'm subtracting 4. Those are the two things I need to undo so that n is by itself. So it says over here on the right, you always undo the adding or subtracting first, and then you undo the multiplying or dividing. Um, you could do it the other way, but it ends up just being messy. If I wanted to undo the multiplying, I would have to divide this whole side by 7 and this by 7. 31 divided by 7 is a decimal. 4 divided by 7 is a decimal. 7 divided by 7 is good, but the rest of it is a little messy. I would get the same answer, but um, it would just be you'll have decimals from the get-go. So it's a little cleaner to um, always undo the adding and subtracting first. So I want to move that minus 4. And so I ask myself, what's the opposite of subtracting 4? So you target what you want to move. I want to move the minus 4, so I'm going to add 4. So I'm going to add 4 here, and I'm going to add 4 here. Remember, you have your equation. The next line is what you're doing. Then you draw a line, and you put what is left after I added 4 to both sides. So on the left side, I had 7 9, 7n minus 4 plus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 are like terms, and when I add them together, that cancels out. So I'm left with 7n. My equal sign still stays right there. And then I have 31 plus 4, which is 35. So now n is almost by itself, but it's still smushed up against that 7. So ask yourself, what's keeping it from being by itself? It's multiplied by 7. Then what's the opposite of multiplying by 7? How do I undo that? And I undo multiplying by dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7 because 7 divided by 7 is 1. That cancels out. So I'm left just with an n. And then 35 divided by 7 is 5. So that's the answer. Let's go over another one. Um, something I do want to show you is before you start moving things around, you always need to simplify each side of the equal sign. So when you have parentheses, we'll just go over one of these. Before I start solving this, I first need to distribute that 2. I can't just move this 1 because that's not 1. That's 2 times t, and it's 2 times 1. It's not just 1. It's actually 2, 2 times 1. So the first step before you start moving things around is to simplify each side of the equal sign. And so when I distribute that, I actually get 2t, and then 2 times 1 is 2, equals 10. Now I can start solving it like the last one. You look at that variable and say what's keeping it from being by itself. I'm multiplying by 2 and I'm adding 10. Then ask yourself what do you want to undo first? You always undo what's added or subtracted. So I'm going to undo that plus 2 by subtracting 2 from each side because 2t plus 2 minus 2, those cancel out because those are like terms. And I'm just left with a 2t equals 8. Now you ask yourself, what's keeping the variable from being by itself? It's smushed up against that 2. That means we're multiplying by 2. How do I undo multiplying by 2? Dividing by 2. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so you're just left with t, 
and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that is that. Let's do uh, one more. This next one has some dividing. So just like the others, you come up with your two sides of your equal sign and you ask yourself, what's keeping my variable k from being by itself? It's being divided by four and I'm adding three. What do I undo first? The adding and subtracting. So how do I undo adding three? I subtract three. So I'm gonna to try to get rid of that by subtracting three. And I have to do that on both sides. So k divided by four plus three minus three, that plus three minus three cancels out. So I'm just left with k divided by four. And on the right side, 14 minus three is 11. Now you ask yourself, what's keeping k by, from being by itself? It's being divided by four. So you wanna undo dividing by four. How do you undo dividing? You multiply. So often with, when you're undoing dividing by multiplying, people will put it over to the side instead because what this is saying is four divided by four. And I need to multiply by four over here as well. So I'm left with K and then this is 44. If you would like to go over some more examples with me, then please come to my Zoom session at one or let me know if you wanna meet at another time.